Hey everybody, in this video I want to show you a quick and easy tip for using lens flares and light leaks. And basically walk you through what I exactly do, what little tweaks I do to each one. Because it's not as simple as just slapping it on and changing a blending layer. It's still fairly simple, but you can do a little more and I find the more subtle they are, the better they looked a lot of the time because they tend to take up a lot of the screen. It can look pretty amateur if you're just slapping these on to cover up say bad effects or the lack of effects. So here I have my light leak and I'm gonna scroll in a bit, put an endpoint on where I like the look of it, where it starts looking cool. So once I find the position I like, I'm gonna line that up over top of where the sniper shot is on my Valoran clip. I'm gonna change the blending mode and here you have two options on either doing lighten or screen. They have two different looks, still similar and it's up to you. I usually go with screen but really depends on your colors and the feel you're going for, you can change it up here. So let's change it to screen. And I had to scale it down because this is a 4K clip. And you can't just leave it like that. A lot of people just put these on, fade it on and off. But I find you need to do more with the keyframes, with the opacity and fading it. So before the sniper shot, I'm going to have it at zero opacity, keyframe that. And as the sniper shot shoots, I'm going to put it at 100%. Then I find there's too much going on right away. So I'm going to quickly, a few keyframes later, bring it down to 50, 40%. And then several frames later, I'm gonna have it fade down to zero. Now watching this, I think it's too strong, but I got the fade correct on how I kind of like it looking. So all I do for another simple trick is I go to each of my keyframes and I half it. So the one I had at 100%, I'm putting the 50. The one I had at 50 or 40%, I'm halving that, and then it goes down to zero. So now I can see if I play it, it's a lot more subtle, and I like the way it looks. Like I said, it's usually over the top and too much and I have a problem with that in the past. So this is a quick solution. Again, if I didn't even like that, I would just half each keyframe again until I find something I like, or maybe I don't like it at all. And I scrap that one, find a different lens leak, or maybe I don't even use, sorry, I should say light leak, or maybe I don't even use a light leak. If you want some free lens flares and light leaks, I have a video talking about where you can find several free ones online. And I also have made some on my own for free. You can download off of the store. But hopefully this has been helpful. Simple tutorial, but nice. And it keeps the footage looking clean. Thanks, guys. And I'll have a new tutorial next week.